how have your personal relationships been affected? You know, because we, we've observed with higher profile people that the people around them can sometimes have a hard time with that success. You know, however they perceive it. In essence, you know, they, they sort of feel like, you know what, you, you've taken my shot. You know, I, I don't know what it is about human nature, but that, that, you know, but have you guys experienced this in terms of before honeymoon with my brother, the relationships that you had and then afterward, you know, maybe the way that, you know, people close to you perceived you? And what was happening with you guys? It, no, I mean, not not really. The I would say though, w n not not the the book doing well, um, but there were d definitely some you know friends that I had before you know taking the honeymoon that I'm not as close with today, and and conversely others um, that I'm much closer to. I, I your priorities change, and so I think you're you're you shift towards friends with similar priorities I, I remember I, I used to work um, at a PR firm and there was a guy there named Mike Deaver Mike Deaver used to be the chief of staff to Ronald Reagan and, and at one time held one of the most powerful jobs on the planet literally and then he left and uh, he got in all kinds of legal trouble for lobbying the White House uh, he was an alcoholic he almost lost his family his health was failing um, he was being sued. He was, you know, being a, he was tried on a bunch of charges, and so he he literally went from the, like the highest point to to the absolute lowest point. And I remember talking to him, you know, years later when we were both working for the same firm. And this is the guy I always respected and 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 idolized. And I remember him telling me about the importance of getting kicked on your ass the importance of falling down and he said you know one of the key things in that is that you learn who's with you and who's not with you and he said it was so interesting to him when he went through all of his legal troubles that the first people that called were not who he thought would call you know one of the first calls he got was from tip o'neill who was speaker of the house and a guy that he had you know fought against for all of these years he's like tip O'Neill. he's like i woke up every day trying to make tip o'neill's life hell and tip o'neill called and said whatever you need i'll, I'll do it for you mm. and conversely there were some people on his staff that never talked to him and and f fled and didn't want anything to do with him and he's like that's great you know that's great because I know where I know where I stand, you know, mm. and I know I know who's with me and who's not. 